Hey guys, good evening. Tonight we are going to talk about hip flexor tightness and whether it's tightness or whether it may actually be weakness. We spend a good chunk of our lives, at least most of us, sitting at a desk. And sitting at a desk puts our hip flexors in a very shortened position since we're always sitting. And sometimes it's a chicken or the egg debate. Are the hip flexors tight because they are short or are they weak because they are tight? or either or, they both feed into each other. So I'm gonna show you guys how to assess to see whether or not your hip flexors are weak today. Next week, we're gonna talk about how to assess whether or not they are tight. So to assess, you're gonna to wanna to stand up and you're gonna take your leg, you're gonna passively bring it all the way up as high as you possibly can while you're standing and then you're gonna let go. And if your leg stays like mine did in pretty much the same position, you have good, strong hip flexors for the most part. They aren't weak in that end range position. If, however, you pull up your leg and you let go and your knee drops, kind of like that, even if it's just a little bit, one or two inches, that's what we're looking for. That shows that you have weak hip flexors in that end range position. Weak hip flexors can pull on the lower back and cause low back pain, pretty significant low back pain actually. So I'm gonna show you guys what to do if you find yourselves in a situation with weak hip flexors. So we're gonna do an exercise called the So Is March. In order to do that, you are going to lay down on the floor on your back with your knees bent. From here, you're gonna flatten your lower back on the floor tilting your pelvis backwards, just like that. You're gonna hold here, lift up both your legs, and from here, you're gonna slowly lower one down, bringing it back up. Hopefully your joints don't creak like mine do, <laughs> and alternating each leg while keeping that lower back flat. This is gonna engage your psoas muscle and work one of those deep hip flexor muscles. Your psoas starts on your spine and goes all the way down and inserts on your hip. If that exercise is easy, even with about 20 to 30 repetitions, you can take a small looped band, put it around your feet just like that and do the same thing. So keeping that lower back flat, one leg down. Again, my knees and ankles are making a ton of noise, but that's perfectly fine just like that. That can make it even harder. So there you have it. How to know if you have weak hip flexors and if you do, how to go about fixing them and strengthening them.